Japan has long been a pioneer in robotics technology, continually pushing the boundaries of innovation and setting global standards. It's home to seven out of the top 10 industrial robotics companies worldwide, a testament to its leadership in this field. What's even more striking is Japan's remarkable density of robot workers, the highest anywhere on the planet. This signifies not just a commitment to technological advancement, but also a profound integration of robotics into everyday industrial processes. Delving deeper into Japan's latest advancements in robotics reveals a landscape characterized by cutting-edge developments. From humanoid robots capable of intricate tasks to industrial robots revolutionizing manufacturing efficiency, Japan remains a powerhouse of innovation. These advancements are not just about pushing the limits of what robots can do, but also about enhancing productivity, precision, and safety across various sectors. In recent years, Japan's focus has expanded beyond traditional industrial robots to include robotics in healthcare, service industries, and even daily life assistance for the elderly population. This multidimensional approach underscores Japan's vision of leveraging robotics to address societal challenges and improve quality of life. Back in the day, when Masahiro Mori started exploring the world of robots, picture this. It wasn't exactly a smooth ride convincing everyone that robots were worth serious research. In the groovy 1970s, people often brushed off robot research as frivolous, like playing with high-tech toys rather than advancing real science. But why did Japan have such a different view of robots compared to the West? Well, after World War II, Japan had to shift gears dramatically. With military ambitions put aside under the watchful eye of the US, Japan focused its energy on rebuilding and industrializing. Instead of gearing up robots for warfare like the US did during the Cold War, Japan saw them as tools to turbocharge industries. Imagine robots as these sleek, efficient helpers on factory floors, speeding up production and quality. Definitely not job snatchers. Now, flip over to the US and Europe. They had a different storyline with automation. There was this long-standing fear that machines would swipe jobs away, starting way back when English textile workers protested by smashing machines in the 1800s. And during the Cold War era, robots got roped into military plans adding to their image as potential threats rather than helpers. Japan's embrace of robots as benign entities for industrial and societal advancement stood in stark contrast to the Western view colored by military applications and fears of job displacement. This divergence not only shaped public perceptions, but also influenced the trajectory of robotics development in both regions, highlighting cultural attitudes towards technology and its potential impacts. The contrasting views on technology between Japan and the West came to life through pop culture in the latter part of the 20th century. One of the standout figures of this era was Astro Boy, first introduced in manga comics in 1952. What began as a serialized story quickly turned Astro Boy into a cultural sensation, appearing in books, TV shows, movies, and a wide range of merchandise. Astro Boy, an android with extraordinary abilities, used his powers for noble causes and symbolized the potential of technological progress. Interestingly, Astro Boy wasn't originally meant to be such an optimistic portrayal of technology. Creator Osamu Tezuka admitted he felt pressured by both his publisher and readers to create a narrative that offered hope. This was in the aftermath of World War II, when Japan was rebuilding and felt technologically inferior to Western nations. Tezuka's original intention to critique human behavior through Astro Boy's adventures took a back seat to the overwhelmingly positive reception of the robot as a symbol of hope and advancement. Astro Boy's impact on Japanese society was profound, especially on those who later pioneered robotics. Engineer Yoji Umatani summed up this influence by suggesting that Japanese robotics is driven by the dream of Astro Boy. He captured this sentiment with the phrase, if there was no robot fiction, there was no robotics, highlighting how deeply ingrained the cultural icon has been in inspiring generations of Japanese researchers and developers. In contrast, Western portrayals of robotics often leaned towards cautionary tales and dystopian visions, best exemplified by the Terminator series. Here, the storyline revolves around the menacing AI system Skynet and its Terminator androids, fueling fears of technology rebelling against humanity. 
These narratives reflect long-standing Western concerns about the implications of creating intelligent beings and the ethical dilemmas surrounding artificial life. Meet Junko Chihira, the humanoid android created by Toshiba, making waves in the world of robotics. Standing at 165 centimeters tall, about 5 feet 5 inches, Junko was unveiled to the public at a bustling shopping center in Tokyo. Her purpose? To interact with customers in multiple languages, Japanese, English, and Chinese, showcasing her versatility and potential applications in various sectors. Junko isn't just any robot, she symbolizes Japan's ambitious Robot Revolution Initiative, championed by former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. This initiative aims to integrate robots more deeply into sectors like manufacturing, construction, healthcare, and hospitality, driven by a consortium of 200 corporate entities and universities. Junko serves as a friendly ambassador for this effort, designed to increase the adoption of robotics and boost sales in these industries. Developed in collaboration with the Tokyo Metropolitan Government and Mitsubishi's Property Management Division, Junko is currently limited in mobility. She doesn't walk yet, but she can use her arms for gestures. Her conversational abilities are also in development, with plans for speech recognition updates in the pipeline. Now shifting gears to Actroid DR2, another notable android from Japan, designed by Kokoro. Introduced at IREX, International Robot Exhibition, Actroid DR2 is renowned for its striking realism, although it still falls short of being mistaken for a human, even from a distance. Japanese passers-by, particularly salarymen, have found Actroid DR2 cute, which aligns with Kokoro's intention to create an android with appealing aesthetics. Described on Kokoro's website as even cuter than her older sister, Actroid DER, this android boasts long legs, a small yet expressive face capable of diverse facial expressions and girlish gestures refined to charm. Like Junko, Actroid DER2's primary role revolves around greeting and engaging with people at events and stores. Kokoro's androids are positioned as modern-day equivalents of promotional models, albeit with advanced technological capabilities. Last we have is Telenoid, the unconventional humanoid robot that debuted at IREX, leaving attendees with mixed feelings. Unlike its counterparts, Telenoid's appearance leans more towards unsettling rather than endearing. Its wriggling movements and occasional infant-like coos and giggles contributed to its reputation as scary and weird among observers. Designed with a unique purpose in mind, Telenoid isn't intended to be merely a robotic showpiece. Instead, it serves a practical function, providing physical human contact remotely. This makes it particularly suited for elderly individuals living alone who crave tactile interaction. When connected to a computer, Telenoid functions as a communication device, akin to a personalized Skype experience, where the robot embodies the speaker's facial expressions and nods. This feature enhances the sense of presence and empathy during remote interactions. Despite its unconventional design that might evoke initial discomfort, Telenoid's capabilities extend beyond mere conversation facilitation. Its sensor array allows it to mimic human gestures and expressions effectively, bridging the gap between physical and digital communication. While Telenoid may not evoke the same warm reception as more aesthetically pleasing androids, like Junko Chihira or Actroid DR2, its functional utility highlights Japan's innovative approach to addressing societal needs through robotics. As the field continues to evolve, robots like Telenoid challenge our perceptions of human-robot interaction and pave the way for future applications in caregiving, telepresence, and beyond. What are your thoughts on Telenoid and its role in providing remote human interaction? Does its design influence your perception of its capabilities, or do you see potential in its practical applications? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, ensure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Until next time,